Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we will be learning about how to create a notes app, right? So we all know in our mobile phones we have a notes app, right? Where you can type in something and you can save it for later use, right? So let's see how to create such a kind of a thing, right? So here you also have to understand about uh, the file structure and also about Android storage structure, right? So you all know like uh, Android mobiles have two types of storage, internal storage and external storage, right? So we'll discuss about these things today along with that we'll create a notes app. So for this notes app, you will be needing a file component. So that's why we're discussing about files today okay so yeah uh, first i would just uh, design the app and then we'll then we'll discuss about these things right so quickly let's get into design so firstly i just want to align uh, components horizontally in center vertically i want to align it on top today then uh, background color so let's say I'm using cyan. So let's not use this brighter color. Instead, I would just light, use a lighter shade of it. I think this would, um, yeah. Uh, this is for screen. Now, so now we will be needing a text box. So I'm just dragging a text box because um, we have to type in something, right? Apart from text box, you do not have any other component to type in, like to enter some input, right? So that's why I'm using a text box. So we can give any font size, uh, let's say 20, okay? And height, I would change it to, so fill parent, a uh, height, okay, height, will just change it to 60% of the screen okay it occupies 60 percent of the screen with i would say fill parent okay so so it can fill parent or you can also say 90 percent of the screen so 90 percent yeah this is fine right and um, text alignment you can either do left or center so i would just say center let's say i'm just giving uh, text color as blue okay and uh, and i would allow multi-line and font typeface let's say serif so yeah these are the things which we can give on the text box right so now after text box you will be needing a button so i'm just grabbing a button and placing it below this so buttons background color i would say blue and text color would change to cyan so this and this would uh, go in place so shape let's say rounded font size 20 font bold font italic so text for button would be save to save the note we will be using the save button okay so let's change the font typeface to serif cool this looks uh, good right and the last component would be a file component right so usually you should get it in um, so yeah usually you should get it in storage because file component we have read permission i'm just giving write permission also for the file okay now now let's say um how a file is stored in a computer right so usually we all know that computers have a binary format to store anything in them right any file is stored in the binary format only so usually anything um, in binary would be in the form of bytes bits bits and bytes like that right so uh, bits means one bit is um, 
like either zero or one would be like one bit, right? So combination of zeros and ones and eight digits, right? So that would make up one byte. So eight bits equals one byte. Okay. Let me quickly tell you what I'm talking about. So this zero, this is one bit. Okay. One, it's one bit, right? So combination of zeros and ones. Okay. So like this, these are eight bits. Okay. Eight bits together is called as one byte okay so one byte right now so um you have one byte fine right likewise you if you have multiple eight characters like that right so then you would say let's suppose you have eight times eight uh, characters then that would become eight bytes right likewise if you have it for 1024 times so that would become one kilobyte one kb right so you say uh, one mb two kb three kb files like that right that means uh, you have uh, eight bit patterns 1024 times to make up one kb one kilobyte right so let's say if you have uh, 2kb that means 2 multiplied by 1024 bytes okay that would become 2kb then likewise 1024 kilobytes would make up 1mb okay 1 megabyte right so and similarly 1024mb would make up to 1 GB okay and 1024 GB would make up to 1 TB okay so usually 1 TB is like the biggest thing which we are using right now currently in um, hard disks and all so we have TBs in TBs we are using okay so right from bits till tbs you got to understand how the file sizes change right now not only the file size uh, you also understood how a file is stored in a mobile or a laptop right or a computer whatever it is any mach machine so it uh, stores it in the form of binary okay now so these binary files um, if you want to read them or write them write into them so you should store them somewhere in your device right so for storage like android storage structure has two types of storage in it which is internal storage next is an external storage right internal storage usually has like in your mobile phone you have some built-in uh, storage space right that's your internal memory okay or internal storage okay now external storage is nothing but the storage which you are um, adding in additionally into your device maybe for laptops you use hard disks external hard disks we say right external memory cards okay so these things are externally added yeah same ways into mobile phone we have we have small memory cards of different different sizes right various sizes like 2 gb 1 gb memory card 2 gb memory card 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb 64 gb right so these are various sizes of memory cards which are available based on the need and the um, device which you're using so based on the device so how much ever external storage you can add so the, that much memory card you can uh, insert into your phone right so that's how your uh, external memory or external storage work right so these two in these two things we can either write we can uh, either read the files from them you can delete them you can update them yeah even um, in the internal storage also you can just read the file write the file update the file right and you can delete the file you can do all kinds of changes on the files yeah so now uh, you will be storing your file which you're creating 
here in this text box you will be typing something that we are storing it in the form of a file a txt file in your device device storage okay so that's why we are discussing about all of the storage and how files are um, created etc right uh, i just wanted to change this from 60 percent to 75 percent yeah this is cool now let's quickly uh, change the background color of the text box So um, let's customize the color. Okay, I would say so. Done. Okay, let's let's use this. Then text color is dark blue. Maybe we can still make it custom. Okay. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really like it. So I'll just try with the sky blue version of the thing maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's use this. Uh, I just changed it. Yeah. Now we have the file component here. File component is used to create files and uh, do some operations on the files, okay? Now let's go to blocks. Now, first thing is when you click on save button, right? You have to save whatever is written inside the text box. You wanna save it, okay? So let's quickly get on button. So when button one click, so I would just, like to set button one enabled to false so i'm just picking up some block let's change it to enabled and false okay so set button one enabled to false because when button one is clicked so we should not be able to click on it again and again until and unless the file is stored right so that's why i'm just setting it enabled to false now and let's go to file and let's get this save file block to save the file okay call file one save file so then uh, text we have to get give the text we also have to give the file name file name we can give anything whatever we would like to text would come from text box one so i'm just getting this text box one's text okay and file name let's say let's get empty string and you can say note dot txt okay note dot txt right now when um when file one is saved right after file saved what would we want to do we want to set the button enable to true again after saving the file we would definitely want to set it back to normal right enabled so go to file after file saved i would just like to set the button enable to true because uh, only while it is saving we should not be able to click on it right but once it is saved we can again click on it right so that's why for the updation part we can again click on it right so that's why we are uh, enabling it to true and when screen one initializes we should actually read the txt which is already created right so that means let's say when screen one initializes then i would just go to file to get read from call file one read from and then we have to give the file name so the file name is note.txt so from node.txt file, it should get the file and place it on the text box, right? So that's why we're just reading it from node.txt. And when you have got this txt file, then we will be displaying the thing. So when file one got text, let's say, so 
so when file one got text so when file one got text we would just like to set text box text as the file okay let's set text box text and whatever the text it got that text we are gonna show it on the text box so that's what we will be doing right so i hope you i hope you got this let me just quickly get back to this what exactly we are doing here is whenever you click on the button one which is save button right so we are just enabling the button to false because he should not be able to click on it until and unless he is saving the file first right so we should we are enabling it to false and we are calling files file component save file to get the text from the text box and the file name is going to be node.txt and when file one after file saved we can definitely set the enabled thing to true again right so after saving the file we can actually set the enabled to true right and then when screen one initializes that means when screen one loads right so we just have to get the file which is previously saved okay so if you do not have any saved file so it would fetch nothing if you have a saved file already then it would fetch the text from the saved file right so after getting the thing that means after reading the file from the node.txt so it it has to have a container to display it right so we're actually having text box on the same text box we can show it right so that's why i'm just setting the text box text enable to uh, not enable to whatever the text which is which it is getting so we are just attaching that here so whatever it reads that will be in get text now and that get text is attached to text box so it will just display it there okay so this is all how it's gonna be right so um, this is about the notes app which we wanted to create and i hope you understood about the file structure android storage structure along with that we have created a notes app so i hope this is all clear to you guys if you still have any concerns and questions you can do let me know in the comment section below so please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub so this was all about from my side and um, i'll be meeting you all in the next session so till then you know what you have to do keep watching my videos from folks hub okay bye bye guys have a great day all thank you so much for watching this video